Hello, I'm Logan Crawford, and this is the Dental Times Weekly Roundup for February 18th, 2022. Thanks for joining me today online and on the Dental Times mobile app. Here's some news that'll make you smile. February is Children's Dental Health Month, and it was a real lifesaver this year. A hygienist who works with the CDC's oral health program in Maine noticed a nine-year-old girl's gums were abnormal. Turns out the child had stage two kidney failure. The catch during the dental visit resulted in the child receiving life-saving care. A new plant-derived composite is as tough as bone and hard as aluminum. A research team from MIT engineered it from cellulose nanocrystals mixed with a bit of synthetic polymer. The material could one day be used to make dental implants and the composite can be fabricated using both 3D printing and conventional casting. One of New York City's top dental offices now accepts cryptocurrency as payment. In keeping with its name, Upper East Side Dental Innovations, the practice embraces another innovation, a first for the Big Apple. The practice is a proponent of modern technologies and their utilization in dentistry, as well as for the improvement of people's lives. This episode is brought to you by Dentainment, a digital marketing agency serving practices across North America. Dentainment provides services such as social media management, website design and development, SEO, video production, marketing consulting, and much more. Visit Dentainment.com to book your digital footprint consultation and take your practice's marketing to an entirely new level of success while having way more fun in the process. Smilin wins the Innovation Award from Revere Partners at this year's Yankee Dental Congress for its newest product, AirPay. It was launched in 2021 and streamlines the check-in and check-out processes for dental patients and front desk teams. AirPay automates insurance verification and out-of-pocket responsibility. Do you know your dental history? Then you must know the story of Ida Gray. While in high school, Ida was hired by a dentist, Jonathan Taft, to assist him. When the University of Michigan recruited Taft to organize a dental college, he helped Ida prepare for the entrance exam. And in 1890, she became the very first African-American woman in the United States to become a dentist. In business news, the clear liner's market size will be worth more than $7 billion by 2027. A new study by Market Research Future indicates a compounded annual growth rate of more than 22% is responsible. Clear aligners are getting massive traction across the globe with record growth in the past few years. And that's your Dental Times Weekly Roundup. For industry news, make sure to enjoy all aspects of the Dental Times mobile app. I'm Logan Crawford. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day that's filled with smiles.